My name is Nick Brown, and I'm an Egyptologist here in Los Angeles, and I study ancient Egypt. So today I'm watching different video clips from Hollywood movies to check how accurate or inaccurate they are in depicting ancient Egypt. I'm expecting that a lot of the clips that I'm going to watch today are going to be full of a lot of errors and a lot of things that actually aren't true for ancient Egypt. So in the case of a monument like the pyramids at Giza, we have evidence that lets us know that it was actually ancient Egyptians themselves who were building these monuments with almost like a conscripted workforce or perhaps even as like a form of tax or tribute of some kind to the living king. What do the entrails say? They don't say anything. Though the ancient Egyptians did have different forms of oracles, they actually never as far as we know, would cut open animals and look at the entrails and try to figure out the future based off these animal entrails and stuff. So this already is, has been a blatant issue with, <laughs> with this clip. One of the other problems with this clip is blending or merging of both like the palace area and the settlement like right alongside the pyramids at Memphis. These actually would have been separated in reality. Most of the palaces and the settlement and the city itself would have probably been on the east bank of the Nile um, and separated from the many pyramids, most of which aren't even real or in existence um, in this clip. Fight me. Father, don't. Stay out of this, son. I won't fight. I love you, brother, with all my heart. So one of the very few things that's actually accurate about this clip, um, in ancient Egyptian mythology, it does say that Seth, the god of chaos, did murder his brother Osiris. So I will let that be true. <laughs> Most of the weapons that these gods are using to fight each other, we don't actually really have anything that looks like that from ancient Egypt. So this type of spear that Seth is using is based off an object from Egypt, but it was not used as a weapon. The types of shields that they're using, again, the, the armor that they're wearing made of solid gold and things like this, it seems to be a very exaggerated reality of the truth. No! In this story that we have preserved, The Contendings of Horus and Seth, there is a part where Seth takes one of the eyes of Horus, causing him to lose his sight. Horus, with the help of his mother Isis and the god Thoth, actually gets his sight restored with a new eye from Thoth called the Eye of Horus, or the Wajit Eye. This is the, the Ten Commandments done by Cecil B. DeMille. Let my people go. The slaves are mine. Their lives are mine. All that they own is mine. The clip is pretty faithful to the biblical story. Most of what the story that the Bible talks about says, uh, we don't actually have evidence for in ancient Egypt. One of the issues, again, with movies about ancient Egypt is that they did popularize a lot of uh, misconceptions about ancient Egypt, such as the pyramids were built by enslaved peoples. It's also really troubling that all the characters in these movies are like completely white and like not actually like North African or Middle Eastern or, or uh, what have you. A classic from my childhood. Thebes, city of the living. Okay, one of the problems already with this one is Thebes is modern day Luxor, which is in the south of Egypt. And all of our pyramids from ancient Egypt are up in the north near Cairo. So I'm not sure what the pyramids are doing there in Thebes, but there we go. Birthplace of Anaxun Amun, Pharaoh's mistress, I should mention that the two characters so far, Imhotep and Ankh Es and Amun, those are two real people that we have from ancient Egypt. However, Imhotep was the architect of the Step Pyramid at Saqqara. He um, was alive during Dynasty III, which is around 2600 BC, something like this. What he's doing in the New Kingdom around 1300 BC, I'm not entirely sure. And then Ankh Es and Amun was uh, the wife of King Tutankhamun. She was not a mistress either, so again, some creative license there. Also, the ancient Egyptians had a lot of gold, but I am not entirely sure what's going on with the entire bodies being painted in this gold paint. <laughs> 
The ancient Egyptian language, we are able to read and write hieroglyphs, but we consider it a dead language because we don't know for certain how it was spoken um, or vocalized. The actors and the script is using real words. How they were actually pronounced is open for debate and interpretation. This clip from Cleopatra is actually probably the most historically accurate. The one whose total assets up to a few moments ago was a devoted slave in a rolled up carpet. Caesar mentions that Cleopatra came to visit him rolled up in a carpet and from our historical text seem to think that that's how she was able to meet Caesar the first time. I shall have to insist that you mind what you say. I am Isis. I am worshipped by millions who believe it. Cleopatra saw herself as a form of the goddess Isis, and this we also know to, to be true from the Egyptian sources themselves. You've seen my brother and listened to him, and that truly evil man to whom he belongs. As far as we know, it is true that when Cleopatra ascended the throne, there was a civil war going on in Egypt between her and her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII. It got to the point where it was so bad that Cleopatra actually needed the help of the ancient Romans in order to defeat her brother to take the throne for herself. Hollywood is basing their stories and the way they're making these movies on some facts and some truth that we have from ancient Egypt. So overall, I think for popular entertainment, they're, they're fun, they're great for people to see and stuff, but in terms of actually learning about ancient Egypt, I would err on the side of caution when watching clips like this.